Hello and welcome. Today I'm checking out round 13 of the Aerial ESX series. This is St. Louis. Uh, riding the Suzuki 450 today. Figured I'd give a 450 a go. Um, everything's stock except for I took some gas out of it, but other than that, all stock. Um, the reason I stopped here though was just because I wanted to talk about these whoops for a second. So these whoops are sweet because you can go over the table and kind of like jump off the single into the whoops and jump your way through the whoops. Now that wasn't like um, a particularly good like run jumping through the whoops, but normally I skim them, but they're, yeah, it's just, a, I feel like Stone Rider's really perfected these whoops. Um, he's done a great job so far with all the whoops. I've really liked all of them. Um, whoa, man, we we're going to crash. Um, this line in this rhythm section here, the big line, is really hard to hit. I'm going to go back and kind of explain how I figured it out because it took me way too long to figure out how I needed to hit this. Um, and this isn't the right way, this is just how I do it. But I come into I come into the corner, third gear, sitting down, leaning back pretty much all the way. And then once I get to here, stand up, still leaning back into the face of the jump. And then once I'm in the air, then I can go ahead and kind of correct my bike the way I need to. But yeah, it took me way too long to figure out how to hit this rhythm section, at least with the uh, the fast line. But anyway, we'll go ahead and continue on our way, go over the uh, over and under here, over the triple, and then uh, through here you can double your way all the way through, but the fastest way is to definitely triple triple all the way through. Got to make sure you stop for that corner though. And then coming into the sand, if you're braking and leaning and turning, it's pretty easy to like lose traction as soon as you hit the sand, so be a little careful of that. And then double double onto the table, off the table. And like I said, um, usually I kind of like to skim the whoops. That wasn't the best run, but at least I got through them. And I'll try to put down at least a couple decent laps, as well as maybe show off a couple different um, options. All right, let's see if I can hit this. There we go. Uh, I kind of messed that up. We'll slow up and at least not go down. All right. It's easy also ooh, to get a weird kick coming into that uh, over under. So, again, be careful of that. And again, triple, triple. We're going to case that last one. Try not to crash. Oh, okay. That was a weird crash. I'm assuming my rider probably like hit the uh, over under there. but. And then coming around the sand section, I like going from the left and then like, like flicking your bike into the right side. Um, kind of like what they're doing in real life. Um, I don't know. It looks really cool and it feels cool too. Obviously I crash, but I'll do it again on another lap. And then I'll try to jump through the whoops again. Um, so you can go over the table here. Um, it's hard for me to usually carry enough speed to do that, but jump through and then you can kind of like triple your way through the entire whoop section like that. So I don't know. It feels really cool and pretty like realistic when you do that. But yeah, let's try to get at least a somewhat decent lap going. They can hit this line again. Nope. It's usually usually I end up losing the uh, the rear end when I hit the face of the jump. You kind of got to be like, at least for me, I got to hit it as straight as possible while leaning back, or else that will usually happen. All right. I like to lean or land leaning forward off that uh, over under just because the front end likes to pop up when you land. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still a little bit of COVID in me. All right. Let's see if we can get a better run through these whoops. Yeah, still kind of hopping through at the end, but not awful. Alright, got a 106. Not the greatest. We'll try to do that. I think my fastest lap is a 58. Okay. A little sketch at the beginning, but we got it together. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm... Kind of overjump that. I'm gonna miss the triple. That sucks. Come 
Still triple out. Ooh, just barely. Oh, I did the exact same thing again. Man, you really got to be careful of that. All right. Well, this is a throwaway lap. Let's see if I can flick my bike over into the other side. Another thing, too, is you can pretty much be third gear through the entire track on a 450, at least the way the gearing set up on the Suzuki. Okay, Let's see if we can get a better lap going. Alright, please get the big line, there we go, can we catch the inside even? Nope, because I'm going to almost crash. Alright, yeah that over under um, is actually kind of technical when you're jumping it. Really easy to, uh, dang we wash the front there. Um, really easy to miss time. Alright. Coming in a little hot. Alright. Slightly better run through the whoops there. Let's see what is this. 104. Definitely know we can do better. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to slow up. Yeah, that 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 rhythm's inconsistent for me. Um, honestly, like just in this recording, uh, has been the most consistent I've hit it so far. So yeah, definitely take some uh, patience with that line but I do really want to get a uh, clean like fast lap in oh there's the bike starting to slide as soon as I hit the sand there okay and again I know I've said this before in my other videos but I am so glad oh I'm so glad that Stone Rider made um, the Tough Blocks without collisions, but then put these other ones with collisions um, sporadically throughout the track. It makes the racing so much better, because it's not people just like clipping Tough Blocks and going over the bars. Alright, got that line clean careful around the outside make sure to not mess this up okay so far so good now just triple triple don't wash the front little sketch of the best corner all right all you gotta do is make it through the whoops Not the best run. That's all right, though. We got 58.2. I think that might be my fastest lap. Like I said, I have run a 58. I don't remember like exactly what the time was, but I just know it was a 58. All right. Oh, we came up short on that last table. Dang. But yeah, I mean, I could probably run maybe like a 50 six possibly if I got an entirely perfect run but I don't think I could do much faster than that honestly oh we'll check the ideal lap times at the end if I remember see if maybe the ideal lap times like a 56 or something but yeah very very fun track um, like I've said many times oh I should have gone over the table and like jumped through the whoops I almost had I Definitely had enough speed to do that if I wouldn't have let off, but, um, but yeah, I know I've said this for the past, like, four rounds or so, but Stone Rider is killing it with these tracks. Like, they are amazing. They are so fun to play, um, and I'm not even, like, racing them or anything. I'm literally just spinning laps 
and uh, yeah, it's it's these tracks are super super fun. I feel like I can uh, easily just get in the flow and ride around for you know an hour or so without even realizing it. triple man I washed the front again yeah you got to be uh, kind of careful with that that 90 very very easy to tuck the front Ooh. and also get into that corner if you uh, don't jump far enough you will get kicked and stood up in the corner and lose a lot of time That was a decent run through the whoops. Probably do a uh, couple more laps. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Still a little bit of COVID in me. All right. Mm, not quite fast enough. Actually, real quick, um, I will show off, I guess, a, a few different lines in this first rhythm section before I wrap up the video. So one, if you can't hit that other line, you can really hug this inside here. Double. Ugh, not quite fast enough, but essentially you will uh, double and then step over the, um, the table, go table over single, and then you can land here and triple onto the table. So that's one of them. Uh, let's see if I can do... And then there's another line which is even slower than that one. Um, let's see. So that's kind of that line. I came up a little short, but either way. So yeah, you can kind of do that. It's pretty hard to time though. You have to get that first double in like perfect. Um, but yeah, the other line you can do, again, kind of hug that inside. And then this is even slower, but I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess that works out, but yeah, you could jump over the the table, and then you could uh, double here, and then either step on and off or go uh, single over table single or yeah over table single. Oh man, it's hard to record a video and you're still like recovering. Um, but yeah, then you can go here, do this, kind of do this little triple. Which I messed up, but then double afterwards, land here, and then go uh, table over single. So that's kind of like the uh, very slow line, but just a couple different options. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna go back over and just start off a fresh lap. This will be the last lap before I uh, wrap up the video. So hopefully we can get something going on, but. Um, Again, sorry for the uh, the delay on the video. I'm, I know Atlanta is already out as I'm recording this, but I am very excited to do that track, so expect that pretty shortly after this video. All right, got that line all right. A little sketch, but all good. Now take easy around here. All right, no. Ooh, I didn't mean to land sitting down. That's all right. Okay, don't tuck the front. There we go. Ooh, we lost a lot of time there. And here as well. Oh, well, not, not the best uh, last lap. We'll jump through the whoops again, actually, just to end out the video, because it is super fun when you jump through the whoops. But... Either way, I appreciate you checking out this video. Again, I'm going to try to... Oh, man, I messed that up again. What am I doing? Um, yeah, I have to try to have them out a lot earlier. Like I said, COVID definitely threw a wrench into things. Jump over this table. Jump into the whoops. There we go. Nice. Jump through the whoops. Not as clean as the, uh, the other one. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video me a thumbs up would highly appreciate it almost to a thousand subscribers been saying that for a few videos now but that would be amazing that is my milestone and uh yeah no that that is gonna be awesome so thank you for checking it out and until the next one